Emily from Our Nightlife, and I'm back with a interesting and fun video review of a vacuum today. I personally really hate to clean. It's like on one of my least favorite things to do during the day. Obviously, it has to be done. So when I buy cleaning products, I look for something that's going to get it done quickly and efficiently, and it's going to be really easy to use. So when Eureka asked me to be part of their power panel testing team, I thought, why not? It's the Airspeed All Floors Vacuum Cleaner. It's never supposed to lose suction. It's got a really great allergen filter. Um, it's got a 39 foot total reach, meaning that it's got a 20 foot, 27 foot cord and a 12 foot um, deluxe stretch hose and extension wand. So that helps save time. Um, and I checked all that stuff out and I actually enlisted the help of my four and a half year old to do some testing to put this vacuum to the test. We tested it on carpets, we tested it on bare floors, and then we tested it on upholstery. So let me tell you a little bit more about this vacuum and then we're going to put it to the test and let's see how it does. So here's some of the features that I like. Um, this container comes right off and then it's got this handy little um, instruction list on the back of all the things you need to do to keep your vacuum running well. It empties out just by a touch of a button. Um, when you are emptying it out, I do suggest you keep your hand here so that you're not just dumping it everywhere. Unless you're over the, the garbage and then go ahead and dump it everywhere. Um, there is a filter up inside of here that comes out and it's washable that I really like. There's also a filter inside of here that comes out and um, that you replace it every six to 12 months. So that's the one that's in here. This is the stair and upholstery brush and it just lifts off really easy from here. Let me see if I can do it one handed for you. Yep, just come through it off. You have this dial on the side of the vacuum that you switch from floors to tools and back as you need to. So there are several adjustments for carpets and bare floors. So you've got high carpet all the way over here. And you just turn it as needed. And then you're on low carpet and finally you are on bare floors. The vacuum came with two additional um, brushes. This one stores nicely back here, nice and secure back here. It's good for cleaning blinds. And this one has the narrow and then the, the thick vent as well. And also stores right back on the back of the vacuum. Down at the bottom is the handle release, and it's really easy to step on, and then the vacuum just releases. I've had vacuums, so this is really hard to do. This one's really easy, and I can do it in socks. The vacuum itself is three feet, seven and a half inches tall, and weighs about 18 pounds, and it comes with a three-year warranty. It retails for $98 exclusively at Walmart. So let's put it to the test. What do you have in your hands? Cheerio. What are you going to do with them? Crunch them. Alright, crunch them up. Alright, so this is our Cheerios mess. This is actually pretty indicative of if Kellen had a snack bag or something that was opened by mistake and it fell. This is what it would look like. They're nice and crunched. because I just wanted to show what one pass would do. That's pretty neat. That's pretty clean. I will show you, I'm going to do two more passes and I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay, now I'm actually on the floor. It's pretty clean. There's no crumbs that I can see. This is what the inside of our container looks like. Kellen was very curious as how all the Cheerios got in there. So we're just gonna lift up on here. And this comes up, Kellen. Can you hold the camera? All right. So we're gonna open our container and let the Cheerios come out. Hey, where's Okay, the look at this. It's actually really gross. I live in Vegas, but look, there's a nice big old dust bunny in there too. 
Okay, this is my ottoman for our couch set. It is a microfiber surface, and I'm going to try the stair and upholstery cleaner on it. I'm gonna use the remnants of the trios that I have. Okay, so the upholstery brush is kind of spitting the crumbs around. I'm going to try with this other brush attachment and see how that works. But you can see the attachment brush actually worked better for me on my ottoman than the upholstery brush did. Okay, go ahead. So easy to open it. A kid can do it. I okay, our final tests are bare floors, or in my case, tile floors. They're all over my house. If I don't have carpet, I have tile floors. That's all I have. And we are going to put these tea grinds down on the floor. And I'll see how they do, because typically that's the, as small as things get in my house. So, Okay, here goes the tea grind to bare floor test. Hey, I don't know if you can tell, but that was one pass and I got virtually everything. There's a few crumbs left over. So I'm gonna do two more passes and see how what is in my filter. Okay, go ahead and push the button. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, you can see what came out and then I have to vacuum my floors again. Good thing I have an S vacuum to do it. But it got everything up in pretty much one pass and then an additional one or two passes just to get everything else. So Okay, so that was my testing and all about the Eureka um, Airspeed All Floors Vacuum Cleaner. It retails for $98 at walmart.com and overall my thoughts are really positive. I really liked how easily it switched from carpet to bare floor. It was really like the switch of a flip of a switch of a flip, flip of a switch, flip of a switch. And um, it really vacuumed very well. After the testing, I actually decided just to run it over our, our entire family room and I was actually pretty disgusted and let me show you why. So the reason I was upset and disgusted, I just vacuumed my entire house two days prior. And yes, I live in Vegas and it's dusty and what have you, but I would not expect to get that much dirt and dust out of a only two day period. So. I guess that speaks volumes to how well it works. Um, it also speaks to the fact that I have a very expensive vacuum cleaner that might not be working very well. So um, props to the Eureka for being a $98 vacuum that can do all that. And as far as the testing went, really happy with the carpet, really happy with the bare floor one. The upholstery one was not very good for us as far as the upholstery attachment. And I don't have stairs as a stair and upholstery attachment. I don't have stairs to test on, so it might work really great on stairs, but on our particular upholstery, it didn't work. So like I said, yes, overall, really impressed with it. I would totally recommend it, especially being a $98 vacuum, because it's totally affordable and in a great uh, budget for most people when it comes to buying a vacuum. Hey, guess what? I'm also going to be giving away two of these on my blog, so I'm going to link it down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and then head over to the blog to enter for your chance to win one of two of these. Yes, two winners, two vacuums going to uh, be given away. It is a U.S. only contest, and if it's after March, the contest is probably over, so I hope you just enjoyed a fun review. Um, thanks, Eureka, for giving me the opportunity to test it out, and have a great day. Hey guys, it's Emily from Our Nightlife, and I'm back with a interesting and fun video review of a vacuum today. I personally really hate to clean. It's like on one of my least favorite things to do during the day. Obviously, it has to be done. So when I buy cleaning products, I look for something that's going to get it done quickly and efficiently, and it's going to be really easy to use. So when Eureka asked me to be part of their power panel testing team, I thought, why not? It's the Airspeed All Floors Vacuum Cleaner. It's never supposed to lose suction. It's got a really great allergen filter. Um, it's got a 39 foot total reach, meaning that it's got a 20 foot, 27 foot cord and a 12 foot um, deluxe stretch hose and extension wand. So that helps save time. Um, 
and I checked all that stuff out and I actually enlisted the help of my four and a half year old to do some testing to put this back into the test. We tested it on carpets, we tested it on bare floors, and then we tested it on a 